going on now. Brother Tabmoos, Brother Demuzi, whichever one you want to call me. This right here is going to be part 50 of how white folks got so rich. Um, not much left in this part. So we're going to get right into it. Um, yeah. White collar crime is the most lucrative and least risky form of crime. And it is a field where blacks are entirely unknown. This crime category includes Wall Street greed and accounting scandals, insider um, trading, corporate espionage, lobbyists, influence peddling, government corruption, price fixing, embezzlement, bribery, counterfeiting, tax invasion, environmental violations, cyber theft, money laundering, and many other illegalities for which there is almost no oversight. Record keeping and statistics by the FBI are almost non-existent. Um, now I did one earlier in the um, in the series where they uh, where they actually mentioned Bernie Madoff, and a lot of people look at Bernie Madoff like he was just the um, the most corrupt person in Wall Street or whatever. But there were people who had been doing that. As a matter of fact, they still doing what he has done. You know, I mean, I mean, let's just be realistic. When we can't just sit here and act like, you know, it's not happening. It's a, um, that part uh, that I spoke of Bernie Madoff is called the stock market uh, race roulette. So you can go and check that video out. You know, um, after you get done watching this one. But when we talk about white collar crime, this is something that goes on even in our face by politicians and, you know, whoever, you know, people outside of the quote unquote black community. I made a statement in the video before um, about how black people, the crimes that we commit aren't anything compared to the crimes that are committed by white people. These crimes that I mentioned earlier in this video, um, you know, government corruption, embezzlement, and bribery, and counterfeiting, and tax invasion, and all of those crimes are committed by majority white people. Yes, there are some black people involved in those, but like it said, black people are entirely unknown in crimes of those categories you may hear about Whistler Snipes and you know some other you know black celebrities who you know tax evasion this that and third but a lot of the times that's not on them that's on the people that handle their finances you see what I'm saying um, the master Ponzi scheme of Bernie Madoff almost had to beg to be arrested and the leaders of offending companies like Aaron's, Keith Blake, Goldman Sachs and uh, Lloyd's Blank Blankfein were in bed with politicians at the highest levels while the true extent and cost of white collar crime are unknown it is estimated to cost the United States somewhere between $300 billion to $660 billion annually. So when we look at, when we look at uh, crimes that are committed um, by black people, domestic violence, um, robbery, uh, theft, and uh, grand theft auto, and um, you know, little little kid shit. When you look at the price or the estimated cost of damage that is done by blacks compared to the cost of damage done by these white people, you can tell the difference. The 
greatest white collar crime of all time is not a crime at all. Shipping or outsourcing of American jobs overseas, aided, abetted, and championed by wealthy poli- political functionaries, has now resulted in the highest unemployment rate in American history. More than 3 million manufacturing jobs have disappeared from America since 1998, most of which will never return. The entire purpose of this job hemorrhaging has been to slash labor costs in order to maximize profits for wealthy investors. Giant American factories have shut down evicting thousands of workers at a time and neighborhood and community collapse soon follows so in case you haven't caught on just yet to what kind of crime this is this is basically like crime against humanity in a sense or is you know not in a sense but it is a crime against humanity But then again, we know that the Constitution still has on the books within this contents that black people ought to consider three, one fourth, three fifths of a man, something like that, right? So we're not even considered human beings. Okay. The rich stockholders, investors, and traders get exponentially richer and no laws can be passed to prevent it making it the perfect white collar crime the richest one percent of adults who who own 40 percent of global assets the three richest people possess more financial assets than do the poorest 48 nations combined the combined wealth of the 10 million dollar million millionaires grew to nearly 41 trillion dollars in 2008 in spite of the great recession so that is white collar crime part 50 We can talk about it down in the comments. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.